This is the cover of a journal I started quite a while ago um, out of a cereal bar box and I collaged on the outside of it um, lots of little bits of lace and fabric um, and with Mod Podge and once that was dry um, then I added some paint and ink. Um, I really wanted it to grunge it up and now I'm attaching some yo-yos and then um, I've sprayed some ink on a book page and I also sprayed some of the ink on some little wooden hearts and I'm going to make some more embellishments for the cover I have something in mind to write on the book page I'm using a scarlet lime permaball pen um, which I really like it writes on just about anything um, nice dark black ink. And I realize after I get this written and cut out that the paper's a little thin to just glue straight onto the journal cover. So I glue the book page to an uh, extra little piece of the cardboard that I'm using for the pages inside the journal. Um, and cut it out of that and I use a stays on inker uh, sorry stays on ink pad to ink the edges and then I um, glue it to the cover that way you do see that I decide that it needs some scribbly edges with the black pen and I also get out a white uniball pen and put some white dots on there There's my little wooden hearts. I sprayed them with some blue uh, acrylic spray paint. And right there I'm get, yeah, getting my cardboard. So I use some collage page to uh, get it attached to the cardboard. Then I grab my hair dryer again to dry it quickly so I can cut it out. I'm using E6000. I was going to use a uh, Helmar quick dry, but I couldn't get my Helmar quick dry to come out of the bottle. I was having issues. It and I were not communicating well today. So I used some E6000 and then I add some bulldog clips to hold the um, writing in place while it dries. And I take this scrap of cardboard and uh, make a punch guide for some more of the little white cardboard squares. Those are going to be the pages inside of the album. And I made a punch guide and I'm using my crocodile to punch all the holes. Um, using a bulldog clip to keep them all together. I can do four or five pages of this heavy card stock with my crocodile all at one time.
I'm guessing here I forgot to turn the camera off. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, everybody, here's another little journal I just finished. It's not quite dry yet. All the embellishments are on here. I put them, they're on with um, E6000, so it's going to take a little bit to dry. But this is the cover. It's made out of an old um, cereal bar box, and I just covered it with um, bits and scraps that I had. And as you saw before, I put, um, this is a Tim Holtz um, embellishment, the binder rings that I added. And these are some cards that I had that I punched holes in. So this is all done and ready to go. It's going to be up for sale on my Etsy site. And um, this little journal and also... this little journal that's already on my Etsy site and also this little faux Midori notebook they're all for sale on Etsy and each one of them is going to come with when you buy them you will get one of these little packs of vintage um, and handmade papers and other little found objects for embellishment um, so you'll get one of those with each one of the journals I will post the link to um, the at my Etsy shop and the specific listings for these journals down below the video. Um, I hope it gives you some ideas to make your own journals, and I will be back later. Talk to you soon. Bye.